Hi, my name is Laura Flory, Cameron Lewis, and I hope you'll come out and vote for me on June the 30th. I think it's important that we have strong principled representation on the Corlea, that we have women's representation on the Corlea. A woman's place is in the Corlea to bring balance and to think about long-term planning and make sure that issues that affect women and girls are considered at the same level as other issues. I would bring transparency, openness, and good long-term resilience, because this is a really critical time for our island. Licenses from Marine Scotland have been granted for four wind farms, and there are many, many more to come. So we need to ensure that this doesn't become a greenwash and that we don't become the, the energy generator for UK's field without substantial community benefit. And we need people who are going to be strong enough to stand up and make that happen, to have the influence to make that happen. And to give communities a stake in the decision-making process about how this is done and where it's done. And this is what I would be looking to do. I'm not against development per se, but we have to ensure that developments are cited in the right places and that there is some substantial community benefit that comes back to the people who live here, whether that's behind the meter, electricity, or whether that is a pound per megawatt generated price that's costed against it. We need to ensure that we fight for this and make this happen. So that kind of strong representation and influence, I think, will come from being part of a strong and principled SNP group at the Corlea, that we have some influence and some heft as part of a team that are working together and looking to work with other councillors to make that happen. So I'm determined to hold to account, account the development companies to ensure that the future that's created works for people in um, my experience in politics uh, runs to running national campaigns and working within the planning process on major infrastructure issues. Um, I am also a former civil servant and senior member of staff at Creative Scotland and I work now as a filmmaker and researcher into Gaelic storytelling in Uig where I live in Eirduig with my three kids that are in the school. So there in the Gaelic stream, we're all Gaelic speakers. Gaelic is important to me and ensure that we have some, um, some... So Gaelic is important to me. It's important to my kids and I recognise it as part of the heart of the culture and the community. And so I'd ensure that there were, there were projects that enabled Gaelic to be used and raised that within the community. The school and the care centres that used to be part of our communities are the heart of those communities. So I would be working hard to ensure that the Gaelic school at Briasclet stays open. We would be looking to commission some research into reopening the school in Bernera and to keeping those schools well resourced, providing breakfast clubs and after school activities and to stand up for our wards and by doing so, commission a feasibility study into and a community, um, a community opinions and options appraisal as to whether we can reopen those care homes, because the Corlea has 6.4 million in its reserves, and that is over half of what it actually needs to have. So it's not a case of there not being enough money, there just hasn't been enough will. And the care sector in particular needs a complete overhaul. The SNP are committed to a review of health and social care, and as part of that we'd be looking to recite those those homes within the community. It's crazy that we have people who live here in Uig who are travelling every day to Ness and to Harris to look after people when there are people in Uig that need that care, that need to be near their friends, that need to be in their community to stay here for the rest of their lives. So that is a really important issue for me. The... Other issues that are important to me as a crofter, I want to support crofters and I want to support people, particularly young people, to stay in the community or move back to the community once they've finished their studies or work elsewhere on the mainland. So one of the ways I'd be looking to do that is looking to support crofting law reform so that it works for crofters and to see if there's a possibility to create new crofts and housing. It is, I think, insane that HHP 
uh, it's easy for me to say, HHP have been given money by Scottish Government to build new homes and so far not enough of them have been in our communities. So I'd be looking to push that issue and make sure there were more houses built, affordable housing for young people and to look at what we can do in terms of creating a tourist tax which could benefit communities by creating a fund that is directly for community use. I undertook some research into economic policy on tourist tax about six years ago, so I know that it would work. It's really viable. There's no reason that we can't have it. So that would be an issue that I would be looking to initiate and support. We need to address fuel poverty. Uh, the SNP is committed to £250 of support for those who need it most. But we, as I mentioned earlier, in terms of behind the meter opportunities, we have other ways that we can look at fuel poverty. And it's important that we have someone who is committed to getting that done. And I can do that job. I'm used to working with people to make seemingly impossible things happen sometimes. Needing that vision and the ability to get the job done is what I could bring to the role as councillor. We've spoken a lot on the doorsteps about transport issues. So local buses are an issue. Ferries, of course, need to be sorted. And the flights between Stornoway and particularly Aberdeen for oil workers, they having reduced in their frequency and the appropriate time of day for them to leave, I would be looking to remedy that and to see whether we can get some of those flights back on and make sure that that system works for the community that live here also. I've already been working on um, logging all of the roads that need fixed and aiming to get that done. And I hope that on the 30th of May, you will come out at 30th of June. Don't come out on the 30th of May. So in conclusion, I hope that you come out on the 30th of June and give your vote. I would be so honored if you would give me your first preference, but a second or a third preference in this particular election could make all of the difference. So please, please get out and vote, whoever you vote for. Thank you so much for listening to me and I promise to do my best for the ward. Thank you.